Okay, so there's Super Castle World, which appeared to be at the end of the, 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 the planet. We're now currently in the South Hemisphere. I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case as soon as I remember how. A five, new save place, a key, let's go. It's Castle Dementia, where ice roams free and, and beware of pudding. Okay, so I guess this is the Fort Gate. Whoa, this is getting mysterious and scary. So we're gonna take our time in an effort to, to create the, the effect here. These are our columns. They're, they're nice and tidy. It's important to keep tidy columns if you're gonna have columns in your house. But I mean, that's more or less implied. I mean, if you have the budget to get some columns in your house, y you can take care of them. Like, hire a maid or a no pair or something. Okay, so this is a great ice chimney block that I've decided to explore. There's a blue green card there, so I guess I need to get that. That's great, because there's a robot right there. It's like, hello, my name is a robot. Because I have a robot M, uh, I don't have a name, but I have a title, and it is the ro- Freaking Icy Physics. No one ever liked Icy Physics. <laughs> Yay! I, I, I have declared my joy there in the figment of, of, of unbehaviorness. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but that's okay. So now we're going upward. This is great. Wow, it leads to Pepsi and the lamp. I've always wanted to meet a lamp, but every time I, I, I go to the lamp store, they, they, they murder one in front of my eyes, and I just can't get over the grief. How much guns I have? 43. So I should have enough to not shoot uh, the Vorticon King or whatever. This is the un-icy period, which is just flabbergasting. And there's the blue door, which is just totally wrecking my mind here. I'm in the land of hello there robot on ice. This won't go bad. What are you talking about? Hooray! You see? That did not go bad at all. But apparently being able currently to... S oh my god! Die, jerk, face, head, man, guy. I am currently murdering you with pink laser brigade. Is he the commander? That's why. Oh, I need to destroy his rock pop rock, probably. I'm guessing that is. Okay, so I need to find an alternate route up upwards, I guess. Unless I meant to go under the fella? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But let's try. I mean, we have nothing unless we try. That is how most of sushi got invented, after all. And where would be we now without sushi? I certainly wouldn't be much of a different place because I don't eat any regardless. Anyways, okay, let's, let's, uh, hey there, Vorticon guy, man, how am I supposed to pass through you? You are a spinally, dwindly, fuzzy fellow with big feet. Joe, thank you. Hey, that's it. Why, but I wanted to destroy the Vorticon and his moonshine. Oh, wait. I think I was supposed to shoot there. What is going on here? But I did not shoot the guy. I want. But now I'm at the being with bacon mega rocket and quickly replace the missing parts. He must get home before his parents do. Uh, that's probably meant to be read with more emphasis. And there's a super FMB cutscene, so so I, logically I should keep quiet because it's a cutscene. And people might want to hear the incredible the episode there, but there's space alligator looking at the clock. And he, he's getting hungry, he's like, whoa, that's one juicy looking clock. But then, uh, you know, Keen's ship, he, he's currently pregnant, so he's going to sniff at its butt. Then it's coming back to Moon World, Moonside, and Keen makes its home in Moonside and keeps out and rushes to beat his parents in the stairs because he's violent and he mistreats his parents all the time. And it, it's great. There's a little tire there, and, and then his mother, he, he's talking uh, to her cornstarch syrup. And it's like, wow, Billy. And Billy, are you? What this? Oh, boy, what the hell? <laughs> oh, no. He, he has captured, enslaved a Yarg, and he wishes to keep it as a pet. I think that's pretty horrible. It, it, it is a very horrible lesson to teach, Mr. Apogee. But okay, Mom. Have a good night, and have a good night, dear, and then have a good night, moose, and elk, and frisbee, and apricot, and acorn, and squirrel. But there is no sleep for Commander Keen, the Vorticon mothership. That's supposed to be the space crocodile. 
Japan are ready to s destroy Earth for no palatable reasons. I guess it's really fun, considering a lot of aliens seems to get their kicks that way. Then Keen's like, whoa, I'm going back behind them. And it is to be continued in Commander King Part 2, which I guess, whoa, we must find our way to the Vortacom Mothers and destroy the horrible Tuntalus rays. Oh no, the Earth explodes! Episode 2! We'll plan a way to revival, blah, 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 blah. I, I, I haven't even read anything. So, so... Whoa! Okay, this is available from Apogee Productions. There are only 15 or $30 for the whole trilogy. That's $10 each, even though you got the first one free. That's amazing. Send your check to places or call there. So everyone, uh, I urge everyone that's looking at Shred to call this toll-free number right now. But U.S. funds only. Hope you enjoyed the game, I did. Well, you got killed a whole lot, Mr. Keen. So you're kind of frightening me. Hooray! I win, but I misspelled hooray and win. So, um, hooray, I won. That's my name. And uh, as, as, as well as I cow, apparently, and go to title. So yeah, this uh, was Keen 1. And join me next time when we, when we do Keen 2, I guess. Uh, yes. So yeah, uh, this was Rao Cow. See you guys. Next time, oh, I don't get tired of doing the whole speak and spell thing. There is a future that lies for me there. Anyway, see you guys.